Ciao. Oh, hey. Look. These must be Comanche. Let me see. Ma che Comanche, Comanche. These are Cododo, Cododo, made in Italy. Come on. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So, many of you have been asking about these. I had given you that taste with uh, my ballistic gel bust video that I had made, and you've been asking for them ever since. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Italian brand Cododos hunting or killer arrows. Here we have three different types of arrows in two different calibers, 50 and 68. The tips are made of steel, while the shaft of these fill tips come either in aluminum or aluminum, depends where you're from, or plastic. The knock is made out of rubber to better fit the barrel and seal off the gas. They are just about seven inches long, which is around 18 centimeters, and this is their weight in grams. What is the difference between these three models? Well, basically, if you have a low powered gun like a seven and a half joules, you'll probably want to go with the plastic ones. While if you have an 11 joules or higher, the metal ones should perform better. And then, of course, we have these broadheads, which only come in metal and look particularly mean. As many of you guys noticed, quite embarrassingly on my part, in my recent videos shooting this gun, I missed the target quite frequently. I had attributed the issue to my poor aiming skills, but then lately I shot a whole variety of different types of guns and I performed a lot better with those. So I'm now suspecting that perhaps the barrel of this particular gun has been abused once too many times with the many projectiles that I put through it throughout time. And perhaps it just doesn't shoot straight anymore. So for today's shoot, I decided that I'm going to use a red dot. This one was sent to me by German brand Home Defense 24 and as always you can find the links below to everything you see in this video. So I centered the dot using this laser bore sighter that was sent to me by Easy Shoot. This is a tool that I really recommend to anybody uh, using an optic or a laser on their gun. Have you hit that like button yet? And have you subscribed to the channel? Because you really, really should. Cododo also makes this tool to apply under the barrel of your guns to store your arrows and have them always on the go. So today's shoot is gonna be very, very interesting. We'll be shooting the 50 caliber arrows with this HDR 50. 11 joules power and the 68 caliber will be using this HDS 68 16 joules double barrel shotgun and we'll also be testing this LTL Bravo 1.50 which as you know is very similar to the Umarex HDP 50 um, and we'll also go a step further I really want to see if once we shoot out an arrow if we can still keep shooting the balls after that. But we'll get to that in just a second. So, how do we load them? Well, only in the case of the HDS-68, you can load these in the regular, normal fashion. As for the other guns, you obviously need to muzzle load them. Now for the HDR60 uh, for the HDR50 specifically, Cododo sends you this little tool right here which is the centerpiece of the HDR50 magazine which you switch it you take out the metal one, you switch it to this one which basically prevents it from rotating. You do not want this uh, piece to rotate. 
That way, stick it in your gun. You can stick the arrow all the way in. It clicks in there. And when you shoot, the magazine does not rotate as it normally does. Now, for the Bravo 1.50 or any type of Glock gun like this, like the HDP 50, um, what I do want to try, and this is very experimental, so don't try this at home until, uh, until I've tried it and it has indeed uh, gone well. I want to try to uh, load, muzzle load the arrow first, all right? And then I want to load the balls and I'm gonna, this holds six, but I'll load five because I think the, the arrow should be in the chamber where the, the first ball goes in or the sixth. So indeed, there we go. I have five balls in here and the arrow. So we will see if the arrow shoots first and then we can continue shooting the balls. That would be definitely ideal, an ideal uh, defense system for sure. We're going to start off with our 50 caliber broad heads with the HDR 50. We're going to shoot it through the chronograph. So we're going to measure their speed in feet per second and ultimately their joules power. And the target is a two and a half gallon plastic water jug. All right, folks, it's official. The barrel of my HDR 50 is completely, completely screwed up. It used to have a good accuracy, but now it no longer does. I completely missed a huge ass water jug and all the arrows came back here to my plywood walking walls. So I shot three arrows. So, all this to say that I need a new HDR50. One week later. All right, folks, it has finally arrived. This is actually the reason why I was not able to post last week. I've been waiting for it. Our TR50 or uh, HDR50, this is the 11 joules version. It's the exact same gun as my old one. Um, I got it from the same place. As you see, we're unboxing it for the first time. So we have a brand new fresh barrel inside of a brand new fresh gun so we'll finally see if it is indeed the overuse the over abuse of this hdr uh, 50 here uh, through which i put all kinds of projectiles uh, most of which were absolutely not designed for this gun so without further ado let's get back to testing with our brand new hdr 50 and our kododo killer hunter arrows <laughs> All right, we finally hit the water jug. A bit low. <laughs> Look at this one. This one came out of the other side and got stuck in the table. This one also is pretty nice and stuck down here. Well, I believe to have found the missing flathead. Here we are again completely missed so I believe guys that it is not the gun I starting to believe that these flatheads are not the most accurate um, I think Kododo needs to look into them and perhaps come out with a version with a 2.0 version uh, because we're seeing that the uh, field heads are going pretty much straight are doing exactly what they're supposed to do while these guys here 
just absolutely refuse to fly straight. All right, let's now go with 68 caliber. Rod head first. Plastic one second. And metal one third. I'm not sure I got it. Let's try again. Metal one third. Got it. Great job on the 68 cal. <laughs> I keep getting stuck in the table. But much better. And look at that. One went straight through into our arrow catcher. Up next, this is 10% ballistic gel head. You can find this on Amazon for quite cheap. I will put uh, all the links below. Um, as you can see, I accidentally dropped it, so there's a couple cuts and holes already, unfortunately. But it won't be a problem because, again, we'll be shooting arrows at it, so that's what we're interested in seeing, the arrow path inside the ballistic gel. Our next test, as we said earlier, it is the uh, arrow in the Bravo 1.50 or any type of Glock gun. So we stick in the arrow. We also loaded the balls. In this case, they're just very lightweight rubber balls. Uh, this is purely for the test we're about to do. So again, we're going to see if we can shoot the arrow first and then continue shooting the balls that are loaded into the gun uh, against the target, which is the ballistic gel head. Let's get shooting. Well, folks it seems to have worked first arrow in and the balls kept shooting now again these are very light weight balls if we put some aluminum 50 caliber balls I'm sure they would do a lot lot better but indeed that is a working combination all right folks up next our tunnel of destruction we have two quarter inch plywood boards next to each other. This time they are completely fixed at every corner. So there's a, barely any wiggling, any vibration. I only put two because I don't believe that the power of these arrows would cross more than two. So let's see. But in any case, we have a half uh, inch plywood board there just in case they do go through all uh, both of these plywood boards. And let's get started with the HDR50 and then the HDS68.
Well, I never thought I would have said this, but I actually much preferred how the 68 caliber from the HDR 68 performed in respect to the HDR 50. 68 caliber, 68 caliber, 68 caliber. Oh, I shot two black ones instead of, two plastic ones instead of a metal and plastic one, but anyway, I hope that doesn't make too much difference. So they did, all of them did go through the first layer and they all kind of poked a hole in the second layer. The broadheads, once again, are the most wild ones. So something with the aerodynamics, I think, can be improved in these, while we have the field heads who really do flight straight, pretty much, they're much more accurate uh, compared to the broad tips, which I cannot even pull out. Well, folks, up next on the channel, I'll be taking this 45 caliber bush buck beauty of a PCP rifle out to the Everglades to test its power against a whole variety of targets. This gun was sent to me by Tristan over at Atlas Air Guns. I will send it back to him once I'm done reviewing it. Beautiful rifle, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And also up next on the channel, I'll finally be reviewing 50 and 68 caliber slugs made by a new brand called Wolf. The guy is serious as you can see most of everything is spiked. This one even has three spikes. I am very much looking forward to testing these Wolf projectiles. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Um, as you can see, I am in a very, very dire need of a shower. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave you with this video next. Please do click that like button if you did like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you at the next one.